Hello, Monsters about here, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms and part 14 of my Huang Shao campaign as the Yellow Turbans. We're trying to bring the yellow sky, yellow snow, yellow snow into people's lives. They're not having it. It's lemon flavoured, I promise. Um, but no, no, everyone's against it. Literally fucking everyone's against I'm, I'm surrounded. I've got a ring. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm fending off attacks. It's like I'm playing fucking Hearts of Iron. I've got a front. <laughs> and I'm massively out of fucking numbers. <laughs> it's just not fair. Um, now, I've had to fire... What's his face? Guan... The, this guy. I've had to fire him. Is it this guy? Yeah. Guan Hai? No, not Guan Hai. Yeah. No, yeah, no. Yao Feng. I've had to fire Yao Feng from leading Bei Hai because he was pissing everyone off. Um, people aren't still, still aren't happy. So we're going to have to do something about that. I just don't know what yet. We could upgrade the city if I can get some more food. I mean, if we get... Currently we've got an event which is reducing our food supply. Thanks, Sal Sal. You big bastard. Do I didn't have enough troubles, eh? God damn it. Um, so we're losing money, but it's not too bad. And the fact that we get a lot of money from killing armies and the fact that a lot of armies attack us literally every turn. Like this. Should we fight this? I, I feel like we should just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I think we are. Just to be on the safe side to limit casualties because there are a lot more. I, I just don't want it to come come out and be like, oh, they killed 400 people. Let me to go, how the fuck did they manage that when they never managed to kill more than 100? That's, right, we'll, we'll just fight it. Because you can't squat when you're shooting a bow. Or shooting arrows, because you use the bow to shoot. And, and the point is, we've got some drunk bastard here that needs to die. He doesn't want to duel anyone, though, because apparently he, he knows he's not that drunk. Which is a shame, really. But we will kill him, no problem. We've also got an enemy sentinel. And Northern Saber Infantry Captain. Can they have captains? Apparently so. Apparently they can. But he's getting shot up. Shame. They got smoke bombs. There's a lot of smoke bombs around these days. I'm not in favour of it. It's cavalry getting a, a mediocre charge on my spears. And then getting minced. The rest of the infantry is moving up. More smoke. It's, it's bad for your lungs, guys. You have trouble running uphill. All that. I mean, I have trouble running uphill, and I don't smoke. That's because I'm fat. Perfect. All right, one down. Oh, that's the Sentinel dead. Sentinel dead, and the drunk guy is, is running off. He's had enough. He has one of the northern army captains, which we can't use, apparently, which is a bit of a... It's a bit shit, isn't it? Oh, that would have been really useful. Would have been a really good reason to kill you in Xiao, but at least if we have them in our sticky paws, then the AI won't have them, so I'm more than happy with that. These guys chucking caltrops at us. The enemy, warriors are running. <laughs> the enemy general, actually, has got some liquid courage. Coming back to the fight once more, and our cavalry is now coming in from behind to uh, try and lock off any retreating units so we can kill off as many as possible. Because. I have seen greater skill from children. Rude. Because we really need to make sure that most of this army is very dead. Because there's a lot of armies around, and I need to make sure that most of them are dead. Because if they're not dead, they'll be coming back. Look, the enemy run. So we've got a lovely little surround on them. If we have a look here, you can see we basically cat caught them in this little little area over here. We've got units all around them. The enemy general's running away again. Looks like most of the enemy units are now trying to escape the battlefield. But fortunately, our cavalry and infantry are everywhere.
All right, one down. S some more to go. Righteousness won today. Hello? What have you got? Yeah, I mean, you're drunk. Reckless, artful, energetic to fight. Yeah, you're dead. We cannot afford to keep them. You're agile, beautiful, and reckless. Oh, you're a sexy boy. Ah, I'll kill you too. They serve no purpose for us. And I'm going to take the replenishment. Because I might need it. You never know. Is Sao Sao going to move up? Now, I'm hoping that you and Xiao and Sao Sao will go to war. Because if they do, that makes my life significantly fucking easier. However, I, I'm not going to count on it. Okay. There's a lot of armies around here. What have you got? Oh, God, don't you want Liu Chong? I've got fucking... That guy. What's his name? This, this, what's it? I can't remember his name. Baby Collector. That one. Fuck it, okay. March quickly. Show no mercy. We're using ambushes a lot, but then... There's a lot of enemy armies to kill. We need to lure them in and pick them off one at a time. Lots of missile fire coming in here, raining down on the Jan Mijan infantry as well as the G militia. And we're trying to knock out that enemy commander. Again, they don't want to duel. They're just not very cooperative. So we've got one enemy sentinel leading. What sort of you got? You've got one of those nice little noble swords, have you? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come, come, come here. There, there we go. A heavenly sword. Master's leather. A lovely book of some kind. You're actually not a bad general. We should definitely kill you. Enemy cavalry charging into us, but that's no real big problem because we've got the uh, the, the vengeful Wu in here. So they're poisoning these guys. They're going to be losing health very rapidly. The rest of the enemy army is moving up and, uh, yep, riddling itself with smoke. Everyone's eyes are running, they're coughing, it's, it's appalling, but we can't see them, which is, I guess, the point. But they can't see us, and all we do is squat. We have mastered the power of the squats. We don't need parlor tricks, like smoke, to cause people to not see us. We simply squat, and we are invisible to the naked eye. See the enemy army already taking absolute beating the... The front of the column has been annihilated and our forces are now advancing up to finish off the rear guard. The rest of the generals are sent- uh, not sentinels, they're strategists. That's the one, they're strategists and as such won't duel but are very, very squishy. I mean, I'm not sure which part of China, because most of it wants to kill us, so I'm fairly sure at best they'll be non-committal non about that whole event. I, I don't know. Cavalry swooping in from the rear, locking this unit of crossbows into combat. Which means our inf infantry can then catch up with them. Some of the enemy units are being a little bit... ...resilient. Including these guys over here who are completely surrounded and yet continuing to fight on and actually doing quite a lot of damage to us. I guess they do have... Actually, their armor's not that good. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, well. The enemy army has been defeated. A few units rallying. But not really too much of a concern. As soon as we take down the enemy strategists, the rest of them will run away.
Okay, good. Success. No. Well, I mean, you say that, but there's a lot of people trying. To the task. Like a lot of people. Like so many people are trying to do just that. For fuck's sake. Okay, you're marching, so you'll be tired. You'll be a nice, easy kill. I might even be able to go and bop this settlement. Um, Huang Zhu is dead, apparently. Collapsed tunnels at Dong... Oh, okay, well, that's fine. I don't really care about that. Uh, what else we got? So, we've got the Phoenix Beak. That's nice. And Tian Shao has ranked up. What can we do with you? Hmm. So, more public order. Hmm, it's alright. You're not going to be commanding. Could make you unbreakable. Probably not the best thing for a, uh, a healer. More income from commerce, though. Yes, please. Let's uh, let's take that one. Traits. You have gained energetic. Very nice. And you've ranked up. Can you night attack? If not, why not? Ranged block charge. That's charge resist and armor. Oh, that would be income for industry. That would be quite nice. The quarter in the administered commandery might not be the worst thing to have. Plus supplies enemy territory. I mean, we haven't been in enemy territory for a little while now. I quite like the research rate, but I think I'm going to go for the for the ability. I think that's what we're going to do. And you have a commanding shout. Ooh. How how delightful. Oh, fire arrows. Let's grab that one. And you have a nice spear. Good. What do you guys have? You are the general of the army and you don't have a nice spear. So you can have a nice spear. There we go. He's a writer as well. Oh, that's fantastic. Sprout ever upwards to heaven. Do you have night attack? Genuinely can't remember. Okay, you're the one laying siege, which means... Let me guess, the garrison is taking damage? Yeah. Remain pure. Okay, if I attack you, I'll get the garrison to help. So let's do that. Okay, I can fight at night. That makes my life significantly easier. He says. No, you've ranked up as well. Well, good for you. Why... It does say low casualties... Just get delegate that. Our okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to release you because you're they not actually that useful. I'm going to take the replenishment because everyone hates me anyway, so why the fuck not? Resist corruption and endure hardships. Have you used all your movement? No. Strike through. Okay, then we can kill you. And we have the garrison coming in as reinforcements as well. So that's a bit of a win. It does say medium casualties. So we're going to... Do you have a lot of militia? You do have quite a lot of militia. So if we went for the night attack, that would... That would probably be easier if we fought the battle. So let's do that. Ah, uh, Zhao Yun! Baby saver! <laughs> the foil to Liu Bei, of course, his baby thrower. Quick march! Hurry! Quick march! Go! Go! So we've got an enemy Don't champion here. I think I've fought this guy before. But, uh. I don't think we're gonna have too much trouble with him. We're just a lot better. Plus, we've got 44 melee evasion compared to his zero. So, you know, pretty good. Enemy cavalry charging through a hail of fire arrows. Our hidden men have been seen. Nasty charge there, but we do have the chances to back us up, which means we get more uh, melee attack and armor piercing. Now, Zhao Yun is going to be a scary boy, because he's, he's a good dueler, and I do not want to duel him with any of my characters. Instead, we're just going to surround him and kick the shit out of him. Don't let him kick you in the face like that. 
Finish him off. And a girl. Nice job. Right. Xiao Yun apparently a little bit shitty about uh, his friend being executed, but oh well, never mind. He's currently trying to kill his way through the lands chosen. And we need to we need to bop him. Come on, lads. Stop just stop bumping him. There we go. That's it. Get some hits in there. That's what we want. Meanwhile, due to the enemy's cavalry advantage, we have created like a little cordon. However, as soon as the enemy cavalry is now retreating, we can start flanking around. And because, of course, we're fighting a night battle, the militia in this army are super not happy. Of course, the fire arrows make them also less happy. So they're now very sad. I mean, our boy's fairly sad as well, because we're being shot in the back by our own archers. But there we go. So now starting to flank around. We do have to be a little bit careful of the enemy cavalry on the right flank here, but I'm fairly happy about that. I think we're okay. Until this cavalry see a gap in our line and just dart through it before I can do anything about it. Now... I wouldn't do something like this because that that unit is going to get its ass kicked. It's going to do some damage to me, not much, but it will. But so I wouldn't do that strategy because that's just silly. I'd look at that and go, "Well, there's no point wasting my cavalry like that." The AI on the hand goes, "Fuck that, YOLO." This is the one and only time I'm going to say YOLO. Well, that's the second time I said. I'm now I'm going to say it three times. The third time I said YOLO, but I'll never say it again. I promise. But the AI can be a little bit more suicidal with its units, whereas obviously the player has to be a lot more careful. I can't just suicide my cavalry into shit and hope for the best, because I'm going to have to deal with multiple enemy stacks. This is also my problem with Fire Emblem, keeping the, the permadeath on. Because, like, it's all very well having permadeath. Yeah, it makes, makes you, you know, want your characters more. But when the AI just decides to suicide its way, when it when it darts through all of your units to execute one of your characters that is now then permanently fucking dead, you're like, well, obviously the AI didn't give a shit, and that's why I think that's that's why I think Fire Emblem is bullshit. That's there we go. That they didn't think you'd get that exclamation during a Three Kingdoms battle, but it happens. So. That's good. Hurry, move. Fight. Well, at least, at least, right, I won't have to worry about money because our victory is proof of heaven's approval. I get a lot every single time I kill someone, and I kill people a lot of the time. A G of the Imperial Guard, I'll take that. We should not waste resources on imprisoning. They have suffered enough. Well, I mean, arguably I would say probably not enough, but the people's voice cannot be silenced. Indeed. For China. Embarking. Okay. I mean, I don't think any of those forces are strong enough to take to lean now. So that's good. Let's pull her head off. Victory, and it will be yours. Free them all. Well, I mean, free. Moving as one. Free is a very loaded word, isn't it? For example, I freed that lovely lady of, of her heads, didn't I? And arguably, you could say she might have needed that, but I decided to free it of her anyway. So there's that. From the roots to heaven. Indeed, you're dead. Suffered enough. Then oh, I don't do think they have. I think they need to suffer more. Our faith was rewarded. Okay. The mightiest tree survives on its roots. 
Oh, we just out of replenishment range. Shit, I should have... Fuck. Alright, I mean, it's not the end of the world. There's no more armies near there. This is more pressing. Uh, more research rates would be nice. Recovery, though, is way too good not to take. So we will take that. Okay, we're back up to 11k monies. So that's nice. And we can't spend it on anything. Or can we? Remain pure. Or can we? So... We can get Men of the Forest, which is fine. We do have a lot of sword boys in this army, so we could switch these boys out for more venerable Wu, who I do really like. Fuck it. What do the Yellow Sky Heralds do? Oh, they're unbreakable. And they've got fairly good armor piercing. I quite like having the chant. A, a unit of chanters is quite nice to have. Um, we'll, we'll grab another venerable Wu because I quite like that. Otherwise, I think this army's pretty good. I mean, obviously, if we could get some some better swordy boys, the archery masters are quite nice as well. But overall, you know, pretty happy. You did rank up, so let us give you more morale. Uh, unit imp uh, Oh, melee evasion, sure. Also, let's give you the G of the Imperial Guard. And what do you have? A stone archer. Well, I mean, that's not bad. You, though, are the local leader of Lean, aren't you? So, more population growth? Income from industry. What does Lean do? I genuinely can't remember. It's, it's commerce income? Mostly commerce income. We don't have anyone who boosts up commerce income, though, so I guess we'll go with... Um, what's Lean's problem? Local... For oh, right, yeah, we're being... We're being having a shit raise. Okay, in that case, let's let's go for public growth, population growth, because there's a lot of people trying to kill us in this, in this little region, and we're trying to sort it out, but it's quite tricky. Um, also, we're going to have rebellion there. Okay, that's not... Great. You're fairly happy, though. Why are you happy? Local characters. There's no local characters in here. Unless it's... No, we don't even have... Okay, I, I genuinely don't know. Um, in that case, tell you what we'll do. We'll do an assignment. You are at... Dong oh, that's why. That's where we're getting the public order from. Fine. That's... He's a yellow-purple boy, isn't he? Is that a yellow-purple boy? Yellow-purple boy. Can we get a yellow-purple person? Got a farmer. You got a bodyguard. What do you like? You're frivolous. Okay, suspicious. Right, understanding and stubborn. Okay, and Gongsun... Duh, duh, duh is greedy, reckless, but friendly. Okay, well, I think... Oh, what about you? You any good? Arrogant, creative, reckless. Okay, it looks like, by process of elimination, you're in. Let's boost up that public order, baby. Because people are sad. People are sad. Understandably so, I guess, considering we're fighting literally everyone at the same time. Yes, yes. Is anyone... Right, uh, yeah. Is anyone going to peace out? Go on, right. I mean, I've, I've done you before, and then you just declare war back on me. So I'm going to wait until you peace out with me, and until then I'm just going to keep kicking the shit out of everyone. We offer peace for now. Oh, well, there we go. But no, I'm not giving you a lean, you stupid bastard. You want too much. You want you want one of my cities. You you failed to conquer it, so you want to make peace with me after I've killed you. I've I've fucked your army, and oh god, that's a lot of people. Oh come on, guys, at least form an orderly queue. 
Okay, Lady Wu signed a peace treaty with Wang Lang. Good for you. Uh, that's the whole thing. Brothers in arms. Pei and Huang Shao getting on. That's nice. We've got a rebellion imminent. A dong. When don't we? Uh, you look like you're dying from attrition. So good, good job there, I guess. Remain pure. I don't know where you're going. Toward glory. No, I don't think he's doing that. Oh, okay. okay. Can we? Resume standard positions. Okay. To arms. I was really hoping I could knife attack. I don't think you can. Never mind. Okay. Um, is this fine? It's a lot of people to kill, to be fair. It's quite a few. Okay, well, I guess we'll just have to kill them all. For the cause. So... I'm trying to be very, very conservative with how I fight this battle, and as such, no, I'm get back up, you I'm corner coward. camping. All my units are over here, camping. However, the, the problem with this strategy is that, obviously, due to the power of the squat, um, you, you can't corner camp when your opponent doesn't realise you're in a corner. As such, um, I've been sending the three amigos here to go and pick off random enemy units. So we've just been picking off, like, units here and there. And now we've kind of, like, reached the main enemy force, which is is fairly bitty, actually, looking at it. They've, a lot of these units have taken a fair chunk of damage. We've already knocked out two of the enemy generals. So they've got four left here. Including Shen Pei, who's got a nice, nice little... Whole arm there. Defensive levity. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? He's also got a another Northern Army colonel, so I'll take that off him. Because see, we're just sort of like trying to divide and conquer. The enemy run! Craven! Picking off the enemy units. And now I'm going to change tact because I'm now going to start bringing up my army. To try and help out, or at least I, I will do. We're going to start by killing off the enemy generals. You are pitiful. You cannot defeat me. A pitiful attempt from a pitiful warrior. Already. I mean, we, we've debuffed him anyway, so he's got no armor and no melee evasion, which makes it you know very easy to deal with. Plus, he's very tired because he's been marching, hasn't he? Of course, once we've dealt with this guy, and these armies, all of them, then we still need to deal with... Ooh. Still need to deal with Sao Sao. So Sao Sao's next on the hit lists. Okay, so one enemy general is dealt with, and Pei is now surrounded. Which he should be fine with. We're going to bring Tian in to help out. But, I mean, he sh we should be okay here. He just... Yeah, he's... Okay, and the Sentinel. So now they've only really got one general on the field. Lu Mao. Oh, they've also got Gong Wen Zhu. A level one Sentinel who really doesn't want to be on this battle, I imagine. Considering that we've murdered our way through the elite of the elite, the fact that she turns up is, you know, bad news for her. What does this buff do? What does this... What does this... What does his buff... Perpetual Devotion. What does that do? Unbreakable, melee defense... Mal okay, okay, well, that's, that's, you know... I will avenge my past defeat. If you yeah, fight as don't. well as you talk, you'll soon be dead. Does that scan? I don't know. Anyway, Pei's still surrounded, and this duel is going on for a lot longer than I thought it would. Shen Pei proving to be at least hard to kill. I mean, he's not very good, but he at least didn't die very easily. 
honestly expected more. Okay, we need to come in and help pay. A little bit surrounded here, but he seems to be doing okay for himself. I mean, he's got 89 kills. And... Our army is now started to move up, although it's got quite a way to go before it actually reaches where the battle's taking place, where the enemy is fighting all three of my officers and not winning. Take heed, warriors. Are you stabbing my horse? I oh, know you're stabbing Quang Shao. Okay, that's fine. Stab my horse, you bastards. I will crush you for this insult. Okay, Pei's got up to almost 100 kills. Wang Xiao's 58 kills. Tian's up to 80, although he's currently dueling. Show them justice. Okay, once that guy's dead, they're down to two generals. I think they started off... How did they have, f f hang on, I'm doing the maths here. So they had the this guy, plus that, three. Back. I killed two, four, five, six. So they had seven generals. They've now got... Well, I'm going to say that, that they will have two. They've got two. We have killed an enemy general. Okay, so currently the enemy army is trying to kill my three generals. Meanwhile, the rest of my army is slowly advancing, but it's taking going to take them ages to get all the way up here. There are you still to learn your place. Uh huh. There Talk are still enemy units. Want. You dotted around the battlefield, hunting for my army. And enemy reinforcements will be dribbling into the battlefield as we knock out units. I mean, so far, so good. I can't argue with the fact that our, we, we seem to be killing a lot of them. If we have a look at the the numbers. Yeah, I mean, we've killed about 600 and so far lost no one. Your rebellion is over, scum. Shut up and die! Not the best reposts I've ever heard, but um, that's fine. I, I, you know, well, I love the personal touch. That's more of what we need. That's, yeah, 151 kills. That's more like it. Like, I, I love the fact that you're giving, you know, individual attention to every single enemy soldier. But at that rate, it's going to take a very long time to kill your way through them. How's our army doing? Army is, it's, it's getting closer. It's, it's definitely, it's about halfway there. Okay, Pei is endueling the surviving enemy sentinel, which is a terrible decision. Pei has fought the creme de la creme of Three Kingdoms, and now he's facing off against a level 1 sentinel. I mean, it's, it's not a good shout for her. This is not... I, I don't care what your agent says. This is, this is not the way to the top. It's a way to have something cut off the top. Where is she? Fucking miles away. Steal yourselves. Hello, ma'am. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Fight. Okay, I don't think this duel's going to last very long. I'll be honest. I just have this sneaking suspicion that she's going to get her head kicked in incredibly quickly. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, she has no melee evasion... Or armor. Not that she... Oh dear. Well, I, I did say she'd... She, yeah. Good. Okay, well. The enemy unit flees. What cowards. That was brutal. I mean, look at the piles of bodies. Jesus. And finally, our army has arrived. The cavalry moving up on the flank. Tian's got back on his horse, finally. Look at his horse. 
And Pei is getting poked. A lot of poking. And he's doing some return poking. How many have you killed? 197. Not bad. And now our archers in range, and we've actually got a fair few archers, thanks to the fact that the garrison had some as well, along with an archer captain. Which means there's going to be a lot of fire now raining down on the heads of these warriors of Yi, who don't have much in the way of armour, and they don't have shields. And on top of that, our infantry are now advancing as well. It's turned into a brutal slaughter as we rush in from all sides, cutting down these crossbows. Destroy them! Show no mercy! Kill them! The enemy warriors are running! Ha! They do have some noble cavalry, but they're getting attacked by our reclaimers as they sweep in from the flank. And they're also having to deal with Huang Xiao, who's up to 157 kills. Tian's up to 217. Pei right in the centre there with 240. We've murdered our way through so many, and we've just run over them. Just kept up the advance, just smashed unit after unit. They didn't stand a chance. They've only got one enemy general surviving. Lu Miao is... Leo Miao is... It Mao. Leo Mao? Leo, Leo Mao is the only surviving general, and I really should probably kill him, but he's on horseback, which makes him annoying. Oh, no, there is another strategist over there. Okay, they've got two surviving generals. But a lot less units. Yeah, they're down to... We've killed over half of them, and casualties suffered on our side... Is 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 less than a hundred, so I think that was a pretty good battle. Picture victory, and it will be yours. A lot of money. Hello? What have you got? Colonel of the Northern Army. Well, if I have it, you don't. We cannot afford to keep them. Cryptographer. Um, or if I can release you. You are lame, so sure, have Let's a lame person. Go. And I'll take the money. Free them all. And the replenishment. Deflect with shield, cleave with sword. Yes, My we did. Will we is did a lot you. of that. I shall not waver. Okay, level 10. Income from commerce. Yes. No, you got two levels in... Jesus. Okay, uh, let's... Sure, let's, let's get those two. Because I feel like the rest of them... Meh, basically. Right, Sao Sao is run... Everyone's, I mean, we, we fended off that attack. That was brutal, but we have succeeded. However, Sao Sao's on the way out... And uh, I would really like to see Sao Sao super fucking dead. Especially if I can get my hands on his trust of God. I mean, Sao Ren's garbage. And that's that's fine. But I would, yep. Yeah, all that ooh, honor manifested as well. That's Sao Ren's bow. He stole Sao Ren's bow. Um, bit of a shame. Never mind. Uh, right, we'll kill these guys. And then we might have like a little bit of a breather. But that'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.